I enjoy hard candy and reminiscing about days when there was no electricity. I remember the first color computer. Hi. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to come on over to my Twitch channel where you can see everything I paint, live streamed, mistakes and all. You can also follow all of my other social media by typing in Ellen underscore Born with two E's at the end across all social media platforms. If you're new here or if you're returning, hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ellen Bourne and on this channel we like to body paint and sometimes we like to turn ourselves into creepy things. Today it's going to be a body paint. And specifically today I had the idea that I wanted to turn myself into myself but older. Much, much older. This is going to be a stark look into the future. So let's get started. I'm starting off by putting a light pink blush all over my eyelids and the tops of my cheeks. I also take that pink blush down my neck a little bit and just try to pop it into any of the crevices. Next, I started by picking up my very battered and well-loved Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and taking the color Taupe and a flat shader brush and just starting to put in some of the shadows that will be around my wrinkles. So I started by scrunching up my forehead and popping in my little frown lines that I'm definitely gonna get because I always forget to wear my glasses and squint too much. Um, and then I started deepening the hollows of my eyes because as you age, your eyes sort of drop back a little bit and get a little bit more sunken in because your skin gets a little crepey and foldy and papery. I also extended those little frown lines into a V shape going up my forehead. And from there, I just started making funny faces and tracing in any wrinkles I had. I was sticking to this light brown for now because I wanted to turn this all into some shadow and discoloration instead of just going in with straight lines first. My goal was to make things fade in and look relatively natural. Mmm, nasal labial fold, Ellen. That's hot. I then continued smiling and pulling funny faces to just deepen all the wrinkles that are currently naturally on my face and trace those out because they would be the best wrinkles to work with. Everyone's face is obviously different, so your wrinkles will show up in different faces. I mean, what? So your wrinkles will show up on different spots in your face. I have quite a lot around my mouth, especially because I have pretty severe acne scarring around my mouth. I then took a darker brown color and started deepening up all the finer wrinkles, so particularly around my eyes. So the next step was to act like a 2009 beauty blogger and show you this stippling sponge. So basically what I wanted to do here was to dip my stippling sponge actually in my blonde eyebrow pomade because it's a bit of a taupey color and more of a creamy consistency. Um, to create some age spots under my cheeks. I have a little bit of melasma, sort of under eye discoloration from freckles and sun damage. Um, comes with being Australian and, you know, being a child of the 90s. We went outside back then. I have a little bit of discoloration under my eyes already, so I just decided to work with that um, and just bring it back, even though I'd hidden it with very thick concealer. And then again, I just went back in over all the dark wrinkles with really dark browns and repeated that same process of adding the crisscrossing wrinkles, vertical and horizontal um, natural lines, um, and then just blending them out yet again. I then went back over my whole face with a little bit of my foundation powder, just to again, set everything down into the skin. Next, I went over my eyebrows with a matte white powder to give them a little bit of a grayed out look and to make them look a little bit finer and a little bit more sparse. This was really cool. I thought that this really helped to actually sell the look fully. Next, I rubbed off my lipstick and decided to go in with my angled brush and add some, I guess they're smoker's lines. I don't smoke, but I figured they helped sell the look and thin my lips out a little bit, which I thought was cool. So I basically went back in with a combination of Taup and Cypress Umber on an angled brush and just dragged those lines down my lips. Um, I made a lot of pouty faces and sucked my lips in and out just to sort of see where my natural wrinkles will fall one day. And yeah, added those in. 
It also helps to add a little bit more of an aged, spotty appearance around the lips and just make things look a little less pretty. It's time to put on my wig. I've never used this wig before. I don't even know if the lace has been cut off. Oh, good, it has. Good. I don't need to go get scissors. I'm gonna surprise my boyfriend by doing this later. 50 Cent's candy shop plays in the background. I'ma leave it messy, cause I feel like as you get older, your hair gets frizzier. She had a walking cane. Would you like a hard candy? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This hair is actually exactly what my mom's hair looks like. Hers is just whiter. This face is real close to my grandma's. It was indeed a stark, stark look into the future. Thank you for watching my video. This is what all your favorite content creators are gonna look like in 2050. Maybe 2070. They're not that old. I look like Kodiak Jack from the Mighty Boosh. This is what I look like if I don't drink enough water. This is what I look like after two coffees in the morning. I enjoy hard candy and reminiscing about days when there was no electricity. I remember the first color computer. I'm gonna go wash this off because it's making me scared about my future.